you doing? It's time for Ask Wendy. Hi, Hi Wendy. How you doing? How My you name doing? is Christine. So on New Year's, I went to a party with a guy that I've been talking to for about a year um, and my best friend. But at midnight, he ended up making out with my friends. Okay. Um, and they were both drunk. So I don't know if I should forgive them and forget it. What do I do? Christine. <laughs> do you mind me asking how old you are? 20. You guys, she's just learning that she needs to dump him and dump her and dump her. Both of, both of them. Both of them. How dare her? And booze is no excuse. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank Good luck, you. young lady. How you doing? Hi, Nathan. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Nathan. How can I help? Okay, so my ex boyfriend was dating my, you know, of course. So my friend is dating him now. Now, let me just tell you this. We're no longer best friends. Okay. Okay. So, do I call my ex-best friend and let him know what's going on? Let him know how karma can be? Or, you know... Yes! Stab that relationship. Easy. Yes. Okay. You call up your ex-best friend and you let him know your boyfriend's calling you. And don't entertain the boyfriend's calls. Uh, okay. call, otherwise, karma comes back around to you. Okay. Say, so, you, okay. you know what I'm okay. saying? All right, Nathan. You. you got a problem? I'll help you solve it. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? You are my kind of people. Hey. <laughs> help okay hi i recently went on a date with a guy that was wearing a wedding ring and he said um he only wears it to keep certain women off of him or to, so that they don't approach him so he, then um he tried to take the ring off to give it to me to prove that he wasn't married and i didn't take it and now i don't trust him and do i secretly try to find out if he's married he's or married does, yeah fine okay. <laughs> he's married. i figured that only only we women uh, put a ring on our ring finger when we're not married. And I don't know why we do that. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like when we do that. That finger is the finger of truth and not deception. If you have a ring, you're married. If you don't, you're not. Exactly. And this man, look, men don't do things like, men don't put on a ring no. to, ward off, no. to ward off well, women. Well, he thought he was so hot that he needed to do that. And that was his excuse He's to married. try to date me. He's you married. Have you, have you been to his house? Uh, not really. Do you have the land? Not really? What does that mean? Well, I, I went, but I didn't, like, stay or anything. I just, I've been there, but I didn't stay, Wendy. <laughs> but there's no one there. I've, I've never seen any, anything to show that there's a woman This requires there. more investigation. Okay. I, I, I challenge you that he is married, and we're way too old for these reindeer games. Well, that's right. I don't want him anymore Okay, now. perfect. How are you doing? Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? Good, thanks. My name is Molly. Um, I'm seeing this wonderful guy that I'm falling in love with. And um, I found out recently that he's still living with his ex, his, his ex's mother, and his 19-month-old child. And I found out that they're sleeping in the same bed. He assures me nothing's going on, but should I be worried, and what should I do? Girl, are you serious? <laughs> First of all, a girl named Molly is not supposed to have any sadness in her life. <laughs> That is the happiest name on the face of the earth. Thank you. How long have you been seeing this fella? About four months. Okay. Um, what took you so long to figure out his living situation? Well, I knew I, I, it was complicated, and he's got, you know, a child, and so it How was How old just, are you, Molly? I'm 28. Okay, Molly, <laughs> do you have a little career for yourself? I do. All right. Leave him alone. <laughs> like, like, now it's time to fall out of love. Lose his telephone number. Lose, lose his number. -uh. Don't put your life on hold for him and break up now so you don't have to buy him a Valentine's gift, okay? All right. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Hi, Wendy. I'm Maureen. Hi, Maureen. My boyfriend read a Facebook message of mine from a guy that I dated one time years ago. He complimented me and said that my picture looked good, and I responded that it, ours was the most memorable date of my life. It was a hot air balloon ride, and then we had a champagne dinner. There was no chemistry. We didn't date ever again, but I'm wondering how to smooth things over with my boyfriend. Aww. <laughs> Maureen, <laughs> you can't say stuff like that. Now, now, look, now, now look, Maureen, how'd your boyfriend find out about this? You let him go on your Facebook? I checked my Facebook on his computer, and I forgot to log out. Okay. Well, here's the first thing. If you let your boyfriend know if you were a sneaky person, you would always remember to log out. It's not in your nature. Second of all, um, you know, it, it was, a, it was a, not such a smart choice of w words to say it's the most romantic ever, because to me, you could pick me up in a hoopty. If you, <laughs> if, if you give me a serious kiss with a little feel-up at the front door... <laughs> 
and a good dinner, that's the best date ever. Yeah. So, you know, let your boyfriend know it wasn't the smartest thing to do. Don't buy him anything. Don't keep bringing it up. Just, you know, just be sincere and, and, and drop it. And if he keeps bringing it up, tell him to just drop it. <laughs> oh, hey there, little lady. Hi, lady. <laughs> My name is Tisha. How you doing? How you doing, Tisha? Um, my husband disciplines our children at times when I think it's unnecessary. Give me an example. They're screaming, they're yelling, they're fighting, like, bad. Okay. <laughs> they're two and five. Three oh, and five, Three sorry. and five. And I always step in. So how do we get the job done without overstepping each other? You step in to back, have him back off of the kids? Yes. And you do it in front of the kids? Yes. Well, kids, uh, listen, it's always two against one or two against them. If you and your husband, you all can disagree to disagree, but do that in the room, you know, in your bedroom with the door closed. Okay. You have to talk to your husband about presenting a united front because at two and three, they are now entering the years where they know how to manipulate both of you. Yes, don't, absolutely. Don't think two-year-olds are, are stupid. They are smart <laughs> and master manipulators. And that three-year-old, well, smart, <laughs> okay? So get on the same page behind their, their backs, okay? okay? Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Doing? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Good. My name's Joanna, um, and I've been with my boyfriend for two years, and he is very controlling. Uh, he picks the restaurants. He picks the TVs we watch. He, I haven't touched a remote control in two years. Um, he picks what time we go to bed. So how do I get input into... Ew. <laughs> He's really cute, though. <laughs> and the sex is good? Awesome. But... <laughs> but Aren't we beyond that when we get mm. after a particular age? How yeah. old are you, if you don't mind? I'll be 48. You'll be 48. Yeah. We're too old for that. Really? But he's, I'm tired. He, uh, you're, you're tired of looking for boyfriends? No, yeah. You're tired well, of thinking. I'm tired of thinking. So yeah. then, you, then you like this, that he's... But I would like more input. I just have gotten him trained to letting him control everything. Well, it's time to have a couples meeting as soon as you get home. And it's, it's, it's time for mm. you to let him know exactly how you feel. And if he can't do that, you've only been together for two years. You need to let him go. You, you understand? Yes. You haven't spoken to your mom since Thanksgiving? No. So I'm Tabitha from Hi, Atlanta. Hi, Tabitha. Okay. I moved to my mom, with my mom in November. Um, I wanted to stay with her for a month and a half before I moved to New York. Okay. And, to start um, a new life for yourself. Yeah, just save some money just to kind of get myself together. Um, and so she gave me two bills, two household bills, two weeks after moving in with her and was like, handle these bills. Did you know that this was going to come? No, with the okay. no, no, because no, I was saving money. How much were the bills, if you don't mind? 300 Okay, a piece? No, total. total. Okay, yes. go ahead. So I said no. And then, and we haven't spoken now since Thanksgiving. Should I give her a check for 300 or should I just kind of let her get over it? What were these bills for? The electricity, water. Really? Yeah. You need to give her, no disrespect, Ma, you need to give her $300 in pennies. <laughs> <laughs> I am serious. And you mailed them to her just sitting in the box. <laughs> Don't even put them in a bag. No, I'm serious, okay? You throw okay. them in a box. You put all those packing peanuts that we can't stand to pick up. All those, as a matter of fact, confetti. <laughs> Big game-worthy confetti. Like, and you mail them to her. Okay. And you let her sit on that for a moment. <laughs> How you do? Oh. I like your mint green. Thank you. How can I help you? Hi, Wendy. I'm Sarita. Okay, I have a friend, a high school sweetheart, that um, is just recently married. I know that he still has feelings for me, but I want to date his best friend. Am I obligated to tell him I want to date his best friend? You realize that either his wife is watching this or one of his wife's friends. And when the wife finds out, you're not even going to be, you're going to be dead to both of them. Like, you are obligated to tell the best friend, but you realize that you're playing with fire. You're still crushing him, he's still crushing you, and you want to get closer to him by dating the best friend. I know people like you, Sarita. <laughs> Sarita, it's barking up the wrong tree. Just date on the other side of town. Leave, just <laughs> leave him alone, please leave him alone. Okay, Wendy. And when his wife finds out that you're crushing on her husband, you're going to have to explain that too. Oh. He has to explain it, not me. <laughs> Very true. Well, he's in trouble.
Wendy. How you doing? I'm doing well. How can I help? I'm Debbie. And my sister seems to think that my husband may be a little bit jealous of our relationship. And so when he found out we were coming here, you know, without him, um, he was a little hurt. And so I want to know, how can I get him to understand that I really, really love spending time with him? But it's just a little bit different with the girls. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, uh, where, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from North Carolina, but I live in Mississippi. Okay. And yes. so your husband is back in Mississippi now? Yes, he is. Uh, well... Working. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, you can talk to him. You, you, you have a very kind tone about you. Let him know, you know, I really do love you, but every once in a while, I have to spend time with the girls, and we have to do something fun together. I'm not up to anything seedy, if that might be in the back of your mind. Look, she's on TV with me right now. She's, <laughs> she's not laid up in the hotel room with the next man. Oh, yeah, you're just having fun. Yes. Listen, sit him down and talk to him. He'll understand... And maybe make it up to him when you get back by making his favorite meal or, you know, bringing him a New York T-shirt. I'll, I'll give you a How You Doing T-shirt or something to give to him. Okay, you um, love that. Very well. Hi, Wendy. My name's James. How you doing? Hi, James. <laughs> okay, so I love my best friend. Like, we, we have been best friends for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but it just drives me crazy because she'll make plans with me, and then I'll get to where we're going to make plans to, like, for dinner or something. I'll get there late at 8 o'clock. I'll get a text at 8 o'clock that says, hey, sorry, I can't make it. So how do I handle that situation and keep her as my best friend? Well, you know, worst case scenario, you tell her about herself, she's not going to be able to understand it, and then you're not friends anymore. That's the worst case scenario. Right. It is my belief, though, that you can say anything to anybody. You just have to choose your words and your tone correctly. Okay. You're going to sit down and talk to your best friend, and you're going to tell her without smiling and without making a joke. She right. is taking advantage and being disrespectful of your time and okay. also your friendship. She's counting on you to be her friend the next day and that you'll understand. Yeah. Well, you don't, and you're busy. So, therefore, until she gets herself together, you can't make plans to socialize with her anymore. You love okay. her, but she needs to grow up and stop being so selfish. All right. All right. Thank you. Good. How you doing? I'm doing well. Okay. Come on name. out here. <laughs> uh, my name is Sarah. I'm 23. I do online dating, and I wanted to meet an older guy, date an older guy. Mm -hmm. so, Why? Because the guys my age, like, they're just... Jerks. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Gotcha. So, I met a guy. He's 29. We dated for three months, and, like, I just wasn't feeling it anymore, so I broke it off. Okay. So he keeps calling and texting me. This is two months now. Mm -hmm. And last night he called me six times in a row. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know. Like, I'm not a mean person, so I don't want to be like, leave me alone, like, stop. I can, I don't know I can what tell to say. you're a little bit timid because you keep backing up into your seat. When, <laughs> come on here, you're amongst the rest. This is what you do, young lady. First of all, I can never understand why young people like this date online. I mean, you know, that's for like when you get 30 and older and maybe, you know, you, you know, but when you're young, the world, you've got so many options. But I'm not judging. All I'm good, all of, all I'm going to say to you is that there's this, there's this thing that you can call your, your cell phone provider mm -hmm. and have them block numbers. I do it all the time, huh? <laughs> have them block okay. his number. It might cost you a couple of dollars a month, but it's worth it. Okay. All right? And then you'll have to call every three months to get it reblocked again. <laughs> I'll talk to you and cancel you through the commercial okay. break, though, okay? But, but have his number blocked from your phone. And you've got to get a backbone. You know what I mean? <laughs> you have to tell him, leave me alone. I'm not interested in you. Okay. And save his text in case he gets a little crazy. Then you'll have something oh, to show to the cops. It, exactly. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Great. How can I help? I'm Teresa. I just recently got engaged on Friday. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How'd you do? Very good. Fabulous. Um, I'm a little concerned about my 11-year-old stepson. Um, he's not eating healthy. Uh -oh. How do I get his parents to take this seriously and without causing drama? Okay, newly engaged. <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> You have to take a beat before you start um, assuming your role as stepmom. Mm. First, we've got to get you down the aisle. Yeah. However, um, do you get along with the ex-wife? No, we don't talk at all. Okay. That's one road you won't go down then. Mm. Um, can you talk to your husband or your, your fiancé about it? Uh, we've been, but we're getting in fights about it. Do you see where we're going with this? Mm -hmm. If you keep interfering, you realize he's going to ask for the ring back mm -hmm. and send you back in. This is what you do. Swap out some things for others. Slowly infuse better uh, healthy choices in the refrigerator. So at least at your house mm -hmm. that, you know, the boy has some choices. He's 11, you said? Yes. Yeah. He's and always going back for seconds, and I don't feel that he should have to go back for seconds at 11 years old. Okay. I appreciate your concern, mm -hmm. but you see you're walking on that wicked, wicked stepmother trail. Yeah, no. You, you got to just be easy. First, get the dress and the date and get that done. And then slowly but surely, you know, help out. Okay. But, how are you 
doing? How you doing, Wendy? Very well. How can I help you? My name is, my name is Miguel. Uh, my, my boyfriend of three years was asked to father one of his friend's babies. Uh-oh. Now, he's flattered that someone wants his DNA. <laughs> now, how do I make my boyfriend see that even though he may not be responsible for the child, his decision will, have, will ruin our relationship? Your boyfriend doesn't see this? Because if he doesn't, then there's not another three years for you and he. This is, this is a poor choice. I mean, whether you're a gay couple or whether you're a, a heterosexual couple, this is, inter this is running interference in your relationship. Is he considering this? He is considering it, but he's flattered that they approached him. Okay. And, uh, you know, I just see down the line that it may affect us. You don't seem crazy to me, so why don't you have this conversation with him? Because down the line, it will affect us. It will. Okay? Have okay. the conversation tonight. Thank you, Wendy. All right, Miguel. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we teased your story. Mm -hmm. uh, you are dating a man young enough to be, to be your child. Yes. And your children have no idea. Right. All right. Oh. Well, tell us your situation. Well, are I'm, you single? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's very much so. Uh -huh. 12 years now. <laughs> okay. um, I'm dating a guy. He's 27. I'm 48. Mm. <laughs> How old are your kids? 27, 28, <laughs> 29. Do any of them live with you? No. So what's your question to me? Um, how do I tell them? Plain and simple and point blank. <laughs> She's been single for 12 years. Yes. She's a good woman who's raised you. Yes. Let her have her fun. She's not going to marry this oh. fella. <laughs> Sex is good. I, I, I don't know yet. Oh, you don't know I yet? I don't know yet. How long have you been seeing him? I'm about... Two months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, well, it's not necessary to tell your kids until July. July? Uh, yeah. You know, they don't need to know everything. Okay. It, that's just a little something, something for you to do. That's not a yeah. keeper. Yes. You know, it's a little something, something. Yes. Okay. Have fun. Hey. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name's Kwanisha. How you doing? How you doing, Kwanisha? <laughs> I, um, I recently went on a date with my UPS guy. And... <laughs> And we went to the movies. We had a lot of fun. He's really cute. But last week when I was on the bus, I saw him pushing a stroller with an ex woman. Well, how do I approach the situation? You don't. <laughs> uh, you just went to the movies with him. He's handling your packages. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want him rattling and, you know, misplacing and dropping off your stuff late. The most important thing here is the mail, not your dating life. <laughs> He, he, he was deceptive to you. You only went out with him once. I don't even think that this bears addressing, do you? Because this is now a guy who's up at her doorstep every day, you know, with the packages. Don't even discuss it. You know, just tell him you're taking your life in a different direction, if he asks. Okay. Or tell him to leave the package, scream through the people. <laughs> leave the package. All right? Look, okay, hi, Pretendo. Hi. Okay, so my boyfriend and I met through a girl who's his best friend. But now, whenever the three of us are together, she has an attitude. So I want to know what's the best way to find out if she has feelings for my boyfriend. This is what I always say. You can't have friends of the opposite sex unless you have the sex and get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah. You, we can agree to disagree. You can scream at me. I've been saying this all through my radio career and everything, and I do believe this. Mm -hmm. And you're young. How old are you? 22. 22. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do I do? How do I find out? You, we, I'm telling you as an OG. <laughs> well, when you were a little older, the uh, original gangster. Look, <laughs> I'm telling you, it was an OG. We've done the investigation. She's exposed herself. She's crushing on him. Mm. Did she introduce you for girlfriend material, or were, how did she, how did this introduction come about with well, you and him? We met through Facebook. Like I met her at church, and then she was like, "I have my friend that you should meet," and then we, we met over Facebook, not right. like in person. But so. The intent of her introducing you to him was to be friends, regular friends, but it turned into something else. I guess so. So what you should do is you need to speak to him. How long have you been with him? Just four months. Four months? Yeah. Okay. Speak to him very delicately okay. because, remember, the one to be kicked out of this relationship is probably you, not her, because she's his friend and he doesn't see yet that she really likes him. Right. Just, just have him speak to her, his friend. Every time I'm around, you ever notice she has an attitude with me? But between me and you, she's crushing on him. Wow. Thanks, yeah. Wendy. You're very welcome. <laughs> One more? 
How you doing? How you doing? I'm Molly. Hi, Molly. I called it, hi. I called it quits and play on again, off again, boyfriend of two years because the deal breaker was he wanted an open relationship and I do not. So I was like, no, thank you. And my question is, if he does a 180 and he comes back and he's changed and this and that, should I trust him? Should I take him back? Absolutely. Oh, I didn't think you were going to say that. No, I'm going to tell you why. Because you were with him for two years, Molly. Yeah. And um, by the way, I've never met an evil Molly in my life. Oh, that, you, oh, that, that, that name you. is everything. Um, you. Look, um, he, he, you were with him for two years. Mm -hmm. He could have cheated on you and made his own version of an open relationship behind your back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh. But he didn't. He was a man, and he came to you, and he said, listen. Mm -hmm. And you said no, mm -hmm. and he said, oh, well. And so now if he comes back, and how old are you? About? I knew you are going to ask me that. Well, about? Around 30. Around 30, okay. <laughs> so, and, and he is also? Uh, around 40. Oh, perfect. Which perfect. means that he's been out of your life for long enough to mm -hmm. kiss many princesses mm -hmm. and realize that there's only one queen. Oh. And that's you. I like that. So if he comes back, answer okay. the phone.